Now we just thought that would cover uh, the two main sort of reactions, energy relations reactions that we have in, say, plants. Uh, one is, of course, what we've just done is photosynthesis, which occurs in the organelles called the chloroplasts. The other one is called respiration, and some people mistake that as breathing, but it's not breathing, it's actually breaking down food to produce energy. And that occurs in other organelles called mitochondria. And we would have covered that in unit two. Now, just as, as an aside, an interesting thing about the chloroplasts and the mitochondria is that it's believed they have features in common with bacteria. You probably mentioned this because they're about the right size of bacteria. They've got double membranes. They actually have protein uh, molecules in them, uh, ribosomes, which make proteins. Same size as the bacteria as well, in, as in bacteria. And also their membranes are the same thickness. So they believe that over eons of time, an organism has engulfed them and then they've become really useful. And they're then uh, been, you know, taken up residence within the cell. So all our cells are full of these what once were bacteria long, long time ago. And if you're a Star Wars aficionado, uh, uh, George Lucas must have been reading Scientific American and in the first Star Wars in the, the series, was it uh, The Phantom Menace? Uh, they call them midi-chlorians. Now, midi-chlorians looks very similar to chloroplasts and mitochondria, doesn't it? So they, the Jedi Knights, or Anakin Skywalker in particular, had a lot of these midi-chlorines in their body, which generated the force. But personally, I think it would be much better just to have had it as a mystical thing instead of at that stage trying to explain it. But anyway, so photosynthesis, what's the main things that happen? Well, as Jeff put up the reaction, you get water, you get carbon dioxide, and you lose light energy. That's energy here in the form of light. And you build up then sugar molecules, and oxygen's given off. And there's new water, but we'll just leave that for now. That's another thing. So does that look like oxygen? No. All right, so that's the photosynthesis. Whereas in respiration, you start off with sugar. You use oxygen for aerobic respiration. We breathe. We take in the oxygen and use that to break down the food. And what do we get? We get energy. And in the form of, it's usually in the form of ATP. Plus, we give off carbon dioxide. And we also breathe out water. So. What some people have described it, here you've got a high energy molecule, sugar, and you break it down into a low energy molecule, CO2, and the energy and the chemical bonds here is used to produce ATP, which goes to do all sorts of things like drive chemical reactions within our bodies. It's also used to other things like build up muscle and protein and all those other reactions which uh, need energy to drive them. But look, CO2 is given off and some water. And here, in indeed, we start off with low energy CO2. We've got light energy. And what actually happens is that light energy is then converted into the sugars by the CO2 being bound to carbons. Plants give off oxygen. And so it's almost like People sometimes refer to, you can, it's analogous, it's like a reverse process, okay? To photosynthesis is the reverse of respiration in a sense. But ultimately it's all about chemical bonds held in molecules, building them up, breaking them down, releases energy. Mm -hmm.